Hey Cal class. So today we're going to be doing the area between two curves using a calculator. So I am on my computer so I can show you my calculator. So I'm sorry I have to write with my mouse. It's going to be weird looking. Let's look at our first problem. The graph y equals inverse sine and x plus 1 equals y. So because we're going to be graphing on the calculator, make sure you take this equation, solve for y. All right, so I am going to put those in the calculator. And remember, the first thing we need to do is find those points of intersections. So let's do that. I already put these in my calculator. So y1, arc sine, y2, 1 minus x. I'll always check that you're in radians, especially those in physics, because you have to go back and forth. So I'm going to hit, usually I don't just hit graph. I usually hit zoom 6 or zoom 3. I'm going to try zoom 3 right now. No, it's not zoom 3. It's supposed to be zoom 4. Just kidding. Zoom 4. All right, so that's a little more zoomed in. Okay, I'm not quite zoomed in enough, so I'm going to change my window to my x is negative 1 to 1. Negative 1 to 1. And I'm going to do negative 2 to 2 for the y's. Changing the window really does make it easier to do these problems. <clears throat> and the other thing it did give me was y equals 0. y equals 0. Okay, I need to change that. y equals 0 is the x-axis. Right? So this is your x-axis, x-axis. So it's this region, this like triangular region in here that we want to integrate. Okay, so I'm going to change this slightly, the window. That was not a good enough window. So I'm going to do negative 0.5 to 1.5. I think that'll be better. Nice. Okay, so now we need to find this point of intersection. So I'm going to hit second, trace, intersect, which is five. Now the cursor ended up being right where I needed it to be. So enter, enter, enter. So now I need to be as accurate as possible with these. So I'm going to store this into my calculator. So right now my X value is 0.489. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit X, enter, and I'm going to store that entire decimal. Store, S-T-O, it's right above on, alpha A. And then I'm going to store, and now I want the Y value also. I also want that y value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to vars over to y, my y1. It actually doesn't matter, y1 or y2. Parentheses a. That's my y value. I'm going to store that into b. Now, the, I don't always do that. The reason I'm doing that here is because if you look at this graph, there are two ways to do this problem. We could do it in terms of x or in terms of y. If we do, if you want to do this in terms of x, you need to find this point, and we're going to have two intersection points. Right. If we want to do it in terms of y, we're going to go from this um, left and right. I'm going to do it in terms of x since my y1 and y2 are already there. So that means I have my a is my x value, which was point, what was it, point four eight nine. And if you write that on your paper, the, the AP people will be very happy. Right? And then I also like to write down that this is my Y1. Let me just check again. Okay, a sign is my Y1. So this is my Y1 and this is my Y2. Just And you don't want to put that in the answer, 
but it's really helpful to know that for when we're graphing. Okay, so my y1 is the lo y1 is sine, that's the blue one. So when I look at my graph for this first part, it's going to be the integral of the blue, so the integral of arc sine, and then the integral of the line. So to set this up, we're going to do the integral of arc sine from 0 to A. plus the integral from a of 1 minus x dx. And then what's the y, where's this stopping? What's this point? Well, this is, let's do the, it's a line. So it should be, that's a 1 also, right? This, if you, 1 minus x equals 0, so x equals 1. So this is my integral. Um, this is what I'm integrating. So if I go to my calculator, I'm going to go to the main screen, math 9. We're going from 0 to A of y1 vars over enter, enter, dx. Plus, I'm going to do this in one shot because I don't feel like doing more work and doing this again. Math 9, A to 1 of my Y2. Seriously? <sighs> Y2. Two five three. Now, if we change, you can go through and try this. If you change the A to that decimal, like the first three digits, it might throw you off a bit too much. So I really like to. Use, that's why I use the letters. So point two five three is my answer. So point two five three is the final answer. And that's it. Next one. All right, try this one on your own. Pause the video. All right, so we got arc cosine and x cubed plus 1. So this will be my y1. This will be my y2. y equals 0, again, is my x-axis. All right. So arc cosine. And x cubed plus 1, right, just to check that I did that right, x cubed plus 1, good. Alright, zoom 4, do zoom 4 this time. Alright, so the region for this one, it's basically the same thing. Um, it's this region, we're going to have to find the intersection point. And we also need the, the, these x values. So we need this point here, this point here, and this point here. Right? If you did it, you could also do this in terms of y, which would actually, let's do this one in terms of y. So instead, all I need is the y values, right? So 0 to whatever this highest point is. But then we also have to solve um, for y. So if we did this in terms of x, x equals cosine of y, and this one x equals the cubed root of y minus 1. Now by doing it this way, we have to actually type our function in, um, but it'll make it so we only need to do one intersection. So let's see, our, it's right minus left. Right is the cosine. So it would be cosine of y minus the cubed root of y minus 1 dy from 
zero to whatever that point of intersection is. So you can, let's, I can zoom in. I'm going to be lazy. I'm not going to lie and just find that point of intersection. Five. So move the cursor close. Enter, enter, enter. So 0.457. So we need this 1.0957. So I'm going to do x dot y, y1 of, I think you can plug the x in, let's see, I've never done it that way, yep, store that into A, or B, whatever you want to do, it doesn't matter, alright, so I'm going to go from one, So and also write that on your paper. So I have that point, the point of intersection A equals 1.09, whatever. <clears throat> so I'm going to make that an A. So this is what I'm going to plug in my calculator. Um, since I don't have those in my Y1, Y2, I'm actually going to type it in. So let's see. So math 9, 0 to A. Sign. Now we don't have an x. We're going to put x even though it's a y. Minus the cubed root x plus 1. Is it plus 1? Minus 1. Minus 1. You can see it working at the top here. Some of these areas, like, it takes the calculator a little bit of time to figure it out. 1.2597. So that would be 1.260 equals 1.260. And if you put, the, if you round, make sure you put that zero. If you just put 26, you, you will lose points. Okay. That's number two. And we could have done this in terms of x. We could have done, um, it looks like negative 1 to that the x value, and then the x value to whatever that point is. Um, is that pi over something? Pi over 2 or something? Pi over 3? <clears throat> I think this one is a little easier to do it in terms of y, though. All right, next one. How many do we have? All right, four. We're halfway there. All right, try this problem on your own. Let's see, y equals negative 2x plus 3. And 1 over 1 plus x squared. And the line y equals 1. So we actually have two, three equations. So this is my y1, this is my y2, and this is my y3. So negative 2x plus 3 to start with. Negative 2x plus 3. 1 over parentheses 1 plus x squared. And 1. So this region right in here, that little triangular region, is the one we care about. So let's change. I'm going to go negative 1 to 2 and negative 1 to 1 for my window. No. Negative 1 to 2. And did I say negative 1 to 1? Okay. Okay, that was a stupid, yeah, that was not good. What was I thinking? Window, <clears throat> x max needs to be 3. Nope, y max needs to be 2. That's what I did wrong, 2. Okay. 
such pretty graphs. All right, so this is our region. So then you can decide what is this easier to do in terms of X, in terms of Y. Now, if we want to do it in terms of Y, it looks like it would be easier because our cross section is going left to right is simpler. Here's the thing I have to look at. Is it easy to solve for X in that fractional equation? So if I solve for X, I get 1 over Y equals 1 plus X squared. So X equals the square root of 1 over Y minus 1. So actually that's not too bad. I was able to solve that one. And then this one over here, x equals 3 minus y over 2. Right. These are a little more challenging to plug in, but I would say it's probably easier to do that than break this into pieces. Um, but any way you want to do it, if you want to do it, go 0 to whatever that point is, whatever that point is to whatever this point is, it, it honestly doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you get the right answer. All right, so I need to find my intersection point. Now, be careful with this one with intersection point because there are three graphs. I've accidentally gotten the wrong point before. Okay, so this one is okay. Sometimes it'll jump up to the other curve, so make sure you're finding the intersection of the correct function. All right, so my y value is 0.365. So the low y value is this one, and the high y value is 1. So we're going to go to from 0.365, 3656 to 1. So I'm going to write that down, 0 0.3656, 0 0.3656 is going to equal a in this case. My phone will not stop ringing, and it's super annoying, guys. It's driving me a little crazy. All right, so quit. So I need to do y1 of x. Come on. y1 of x. Enter. Okay, there's my y value. I'm going to store that into a. All right, so... Then look at your function. Which one's going to be on the right? So our line is on the right. Our weird curve is on the left. So it's going to be line minus curve. So we have to set this up from A to 1. 3 minus Y all over 2. Minus the square root 1 over Y minus 1 dy. Let's see what that equals. All right, so back to our main page. So math 9. So a to 1. So I've got my what was it? 3 minus y all over 2. So parentheses, 3 minus x all over 2 minus the square root of 1 over y minus 1. The square root of 1 over x minus 1. 1 over x minus 1. Yep. You don't have to put parentheses around the 1 over x. Now, you could actually do this with y's in there. You could put like use, what is it, alpha, alpha 1 if you wanted, but that's just too much work in my opinion to type out the y. All right, 0 0.295, 0 0.295. So this really isn't hard. It's a little, it's time consuming because you're setting things equal, you're making a window, you're finding where stuff intersects. It's not overly hard, I would say, at all. Ooh. All right, so this one, pause the video, try it. 
y equals x squared minus 2. So y squared x5 over 1 plus x squared. Hey, that's nice. And you got that. Let's put a 5 up top. What was it? x squared. I don't remember. Minus 2. And then y equals 1, which I have. Be bad. I'm just gonna hit graph. See what happens. Yeah, this is why you never just hit graph because the window is ridiculous and super. Oh, actually, wait, wait, wait. Oh my God! Look how tiny that region is. We're finding the area of that is the teeniest region. X squared minus two. Okay, so we need to get closer into that region. That is teeny tiny. All right, I'm going to change this to, let's see, 1 to 2.5. And then make that a 0. So teeny tiny. All right, so again, this one is probably easier in terms of y. I'm going to do it in terms of x just one more time to show you. So I'm going to integrate. So I need to find three points. I need to find this point. I need to find this point, And I need to find this point. So lots of intersections. Second, intersect. So I'm going to start over here. Enter. See how it, it jumped up to red? I don't want it on red, so I, I just I hit the down arrow and it brings it back down. So 1.732. So I'm going to make that my A. X store. Alright, so 1.732. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do, I'm going to do that. Mm. 1.732, that's my A, make this one B, and this one C. All right, next point of intersection, second, trace, intersect, enter, enter, enter. 1.786. Okay. X store alpha B. Oopsies. I hit second instead of alpha. Alpha B. Enter. All right. So back 1.786. And then C, second, trace, intersect, Oop. enter, enter, enter. Two. That's a nice point. So I don't even need to put that into a letter. So now we're going to do the integral from A to B. Dx plus the integral from B to 2. So now we have to see which what's on top, what's on bottom. So the red one, if, and if you're not sure, go. I you can um, because I have colors. Um, I need the top function is my blue function, right? So blue minus black. Blue is my x squared minus 2. So 
So it's by y1. So x squared minus 2 minus 1. So the other one, and the other one is the red, which is my 5 over 1 plus x squared. 5 over 1 plus x squared. D X, oops, minus 1 dx. And keep in mind which one's which. So my x squared minus 2 is my y1. Let's see. So this is y1 and this is y2. So what I'm going to put in the calculator is y1 minus 1 and y2 minus 1. All right, so back to the main screen, math 9, A to B. What was it? A to B, Y1 minus 1. DX plus Math 9, B to 2, Y2, minus 1, DX. Enter. Point zero two four nine. I mean, that kind of makes sense. That's a teeny tiny area. So point zero two five is the answer. 0.025. And that's using the calculator. It's, again, this isn't overly hard. It's more annoying than anything because um, you have to find these points. You need to keep track of them. Use the letters like I used. Do not round them. You're going to make a silly mistake. You're going to type a decimal wrong. It's significantly easier to do it this way. All right, your homework is AP problem practice. And I can't remember if we're going to do area one more day or we're done. We might be done. All right. Have a fabulous day, guys.